So hi guys, welcome to part four of the Mosquito. Um, now as you know, as I film this intro bit, I always film this before I actually start making anything. Um, so how far I progress is only a plan. Um, now I am planning on doing stages seven, eight and nine, uh, which is the navigator seat, the spa assembly and the cockpit assembly. I'm also hoping to do stage 10. Um, now, when I get to stage, let me bring the instructions up. So this is stage seven, which as you can see is an awful lot of different colors to put in. Uh, we've got all the knobs and buttons to do on the navigator seat. Um, I think that this, if you weren't saying wow already, I think you will say wow after this stage. And then we'll go on to stage eight. Now, as you can see there, um, there's a, there's an option, uh, option C. I'm not doing option C, which is the uh, recon version. I'm doing option B, so those little holes don't need drilling out. Um, and there's a couple of bits there. It's just a bit of straightforward painting, and then glue it together. Obviously, I'll glue, because those two parts are going to be the same colour, I'll glue them and then paint them. So that's a simple stage. Then stage nine is... Uh, the cockpit assembly and again it's um, it's quite a lot of brush painting um, so when I make these videos obviously I film them and I might film sort of four five six hours worth of footage and then by the time I edit it it goes down to half an hour three quarters of an hour whatever um, I'd like to try and get stage 10 done uh, which is essentially just gluing the parts that I've already uh, assembled and then I'll look at stage 11, which is the Bombay assembly. Uh, again, a little bit of painting. Um, it looks quite simple. Um, paint the parts, then glue them on, which obviously is a lot simpler than, than gluing them painting. Because you don't, excuse me, you don't need to mask things off. Then stage 12, we've got some bombs. And this, I believe there's a, yeah, there's a couple of options here. So ignore the bottom picture because that's option C. I'm going to be doing the top one. Um, now, because it's a propeller-driven um, aircraft, I don't do the pilots because I, when it's propeller, I always do it on the ground with the undercarriage down. So I'm actually going to miss the uh, pilots out. Now, if you want to comment and complain that you want to see me painting pilots, um, I will make a video at the end of the series and I will paint those pilots, but I'm not going to put the pilots into the actual aircraft, which means that look, stage 13 and stage 14 aren't required. And then stage 15 is, is a little bit of painting, but essentially it's just closing up the fuselage. Now, I don't think I'm going to get to stage 15 because that's, uh, that's about seven stages. Um, but I think we can make... Uh, a lot of good progression so let's get the credits rolling and then let's have a look at what I'm going to do Okay, so what I've done is, as you know, I had cut some of the pieces off earlier on because um, I got a bit impatient and um, we... Uh, sorry, I've just noticed my light is in the way of the camera. There we go, that's better. So I have an extremely messy desk today um, because I have bits and bobs all over the place. Um, I just want to adjust that. There we go. Right, so what I've done, I know I'm going to get stages 7, 8 and 9 done. Um, so the bits that I've cut off, I've laid out some paints. These are the paints that I'm going to be using. One that you can't see is X18. And I'm going to cut the parts out for stages 7, 8 and 9. And because a lot of them are going to be painted and then details are going to be painted on top of that. 
um, I'm gonna just like so this one needs to be painted our mix of green which I'm using this so that's going there this is gonna need the same color but it's not needed till stage 8 um, now we will I have noticed in a much future stage the inside hair needs to be painted so when we get this out to paint these parts I might as well do that as well um, the other thing as well we had a part last issue um, which was we needed a combination of hull red and red and this is what we've done um, and I actually mixed that color up with brown um, since then because I need it for a future project I've actually bought the AK interactive equivalent of hull red which is not focusing which is burnt red so I now have the colors um, just in case you're coming into this video as the first one you'll notice a mix of paints um, I lost a lot of my paints uh, quite a few years ago well a couple of years ago now and I start to replace them with Tamiya's and I buy my paints probably like most people as I need them I don't go out and buy an entire set um, but I've more recently discovered AK Interactive which I personally like um, so when I buy new paints I'll buy AKs um, but obviously I'm not going to waste these paints so when this one runs out for example the XF7 flat red I'll replace that with an AK um, equivalent so if I have if you see a Tamiya um, you'll see you'll know that I've already got it and then this is a more recent one I bought a few other colors um, not just for this project um, but for some other projects so there's a lemon yellow that's a really nice color actually nice lemon yellow but I don't think I'm not sure if it's being used in this one I can't remember um, we'll find out by the end of this video so what I'm gonna do now then is I'm gonna cut all the parts out that I need for seven eight and nine I'm gonna lay them out and then I'm gonna prime them all and I'm gonna um, uh, paint them the relevant colors so we've got my AK11847 RF cockpit green I know so gray green I know some people might say this is the wrong color and that's fine um, I'm following by the rules of it's my model if I'm happy with it then it's okay um, so I've got my mix of burnt red and red um, which there aren't many I, I don't even think I'm gonna need that in the airbrush um, I've got XF16 flat aluminium um, I don't know why I've chosen this one and not my metal color version um, in fact I will go with the metal color version so aluminium which goes really nice through the airbrush actually um, so I do metallic colors I do love these um, and then there's a couple of bits I think needs X18 which is a semi-gloss black um, so yeah so I'll crack on with that so I'm gonna cut all the pieces out in fact I don't think um, so I'll cut the pieces out for seven eight and nine um, and I think for stages if I do get up to stage 10 and 11 I think I will I've got an XF 16 What's S XF16 is flat aluminium. Yes, of course, so that's that. So I'll probably just have to write, yeah. Right, so I'll get the parts cut out. We'll get these braid up and then we'll get on with the brush painting.
Okay, so what I've been doing is uh, off camera, I've just been loading them up onto these little clips just to make it easier to paint. Um, but I have notes that with the transmitter, because it's all going to be the same colour, and there's going to be this little bit here that I'm going to leave as a glue point. Um, I'm just going to glue these on. Um, I just wanted to sort of add this to the to the uh, video so that people don't go, oh, hang on, what's going on there? So um, all it is is just a little bit of glue. Pop it on there, and that's the transmitter done. And then once we've actually finished painting the transmitter, that that's going to glue on. Uh, let's see if I can find the bit. Oh, come on, there you go. So the transmitter is not going there. It's going on. Oh, let's see if I can find this bit. So. I can't find it. Which bit's the transmitter? <laughs> right, okay, I think it's this one. So the transmitter is going to go like that. So obviously the underside we're not going to paint because that will give us a glue point. And um, so I'm just going to glue, uh, just finish this other one up. Uh, this is the receiver. The receiver is going to go. Um, how's the receiver going to go? Something like. Something like that. No, that doesn't look right, does it? Receiver. Something like that. Oh, I don't know. I'll have to have, I'll have to have a look at instructions. But yeah, I'm just going to finish the little little bits of glue. Okay, so when I was test fitting this, what I didn't realise was I actually cut too much off. There's a little tab there. Focus. So there's a little tab there. That's why I couldn't fit that piece in. I've managed to fix it by gluing it on and leaving it for a while. Um, so that should now work. Um, so they had my mistake, double, double, triple, check the, the instructions um, and check the bits that you're going to cut off because that was a bit of a newbie mistake there on my part. Right, so what I'm going to do now is my planning of laying all the parts out didn't really come to much good because um, by the time I've, I've, um, I've clipped them all onto various clips ready to airbrush, I've got them all muddled up so what I've done is I've got all the bits ready uh, and I'm going to prime them with this I always have trouble pronouncing this Steinlerex Steinlerez and I'm just going to prime them now there's a bit of a debate out there do you prime you probably don't need to prime um, but I like to prime because a it's peace of mind that the paint will definitely stick and also um, if there's a problem with the plastic, say for example I haven't washed the kit properly and there's a little bit of grease, that that will then show up with the primer um, and it's, it's, it's just a way to catch it early on. Um, if you put the paint straight onto the plastic and it doesn't stick and it bubbles or, or whatever it does, you're then saying to yourself, well is it because there's a problem with the plastic, say for example a bit of grease? Is it because I haven't primed it? It just eliminates one of the reasons for it to go wrong. Um, so it's belt and braces probably, but I'll put a little bit of primer down and uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll crack on with it. So yeah, so here we go.
Okay, so the next stage is, if I can bring the instructions up, God, gone all the way to 15, right. So, this is the, uh, the slow, chilling out, relaxing section, where now that I've got all of the base coats in, I can just start adding all the color to all the various panels. Um, so it's just a really a case of just sit back, chill out, um, you see there look, all these buttons need painting and then we've got some here to paint that's looking quite nice now actually um, you can see where well you can't see where I cut it off accidentally um, but yeah so um, I've got the Tamiya's I'm going to use straight from the bottle um, any uh, this is an XF3 replacement um, so that's gone into a wet palette, so that'll keep that nice and dry and I can thin that as required These are these are very thick for painting and you'll end up with brush marks all over the place um, I've got X. This is going to be XF 23. This is light blue AK 11161 um, This is a replacement for XF 23 and XF 24 uh, If I can find it is this grey so these two need to be mixed together to make one of the colours. Uh, XF7, um, that's my new um, burnt red, deep red, uh, which I can't find at the moment, it's somewhere on my table. As you can see, my um, the mess fairies have come in while I was waiting for stuff to dry. There we are. So this I'll be using. Um, what else is there? Um, is all sorts so basically I'll uh, I'll show everything on on screen as needed
Okay, so that's stage seven complete. Um, let's see if I can move this down to... Um, my painting is not really perfect. Um, the white there is is quite awful. Um, however, this is going to go into the cockpit. I've seen some people who don't even bother doing the cockpit. Um, I personally can't not paint the cockpit because I know it's... I know it's there, you know, even if you can't see it. Um, the seat has come out really, really nice. Um, let me take the instructions off. Um, the seat has come out really, really nice. I'm really happy with that. Uh, I'm not happy with that, so I'm going to give it a little bit of it. I keep double checking it, and it says nothing about painting any colours other than black. So I'll probably just give that a little, little dry brush of uh, silver. Um, but I'll do that later on. The buttons at the back are pretty terrible to be absolutely honest with you. Um, but that's fine, that's my painting. Um, so that is stage seven complete. Um, stage eight is really, really simple. Um, I jumped in there and I painted that beforehand. Um, but all stage eight is, is, is gluing this bit on and this bit. Now this bit I already glued on because I knew that both of these would be painted the same colour so it's already been glued on um, and then this is piece A17 this is going to make the wing struts I, I believe we've already seen this um, and there's two little lugs there and that is the correct way round but if you get it the wrong way round oh no it is the wrong way round so if you get it the wrong way round, it actually won't fit. And there we go. There's two little holes there, so it's really easy to fit. Um, but what I'm planning on doing, I don't know which way round that is. So what I want to do is, that's not fitting. There we go, that's fitting. So this will go in this way so what I'm gonna do now is flip it this way don't matter which way I flip it just as long as I it is flipped the correct way and contact points just put a little bit of glue on there um, I don't know if I've explained on any of these videos I use three glues um, or three polystyrene cements I use this bog standard normal white top Tamiya cement when I can't can't or won't place the two bits together before gluing. Um, so you see there that I put the glue on then I brought the parts together. If I'd brought the parts together um, I would have used the extra thin. Now the extra thin and the extra thin quick setting once you paint that on by the time you get the part on it's dried out so this takes a little bit longer to dry so obviously the 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 the, the trade-off there is it takes longer to cure if i'm able to bring the parts together um, which in most of these cases i was able to i use the extra thin because then i can just do the old um, capillary action and obviously wherever possible I've tried to glue from a side where you can't see so um, obviously that that glue mark wouldn't make a difference if it was top surface but it's not even going to be seen up from underneath um, and then where I have a bit of an urgency for the parts to be glued like these arms I will use the extra thin quick setting um, because that's a really fiddly part and I don't want to sit there holding it for too long. Anyway, that is stage eight complete. If you are doing variant C, you need to drill those two holes out, but I'm not doing variant C. Um, so this, the next bit is just to get on with stage nine. So let's bring stage nine up, because I think I'm gonna have to, uh, um, don't think I'm going to be able to do that and talk at the same time so there's stage 9 and then stage 10 
we'll be bringing all of that together and then if I get time to do stage 11 as so you can see I've already painted that bomb bay I've painted the uh, the three little bomb supports and then there's that that bit on the end which I haven't done yet so I don't think we're going to get stage 11 done but given that I've been doing three stages per video and I think I can get up to stage 10, 10 done and um, that'll do but don't forget guys this is a relaxing chilling hobby there's no time limits um, you know if um, my attitude is that um, let's, let's, look, let's look at stage one um, if in stage one it took me an hour just to do this part and therefore it took me one two three four five six seven it took me eight hour long videos just to do one part then that's the way it is guys um, because the idea of the hobby is to chill out and relax if you're going to put yourself under stress in order to get things done you might as well do something else anyway let's crack on with this So guys, um, I was just about to start stage nine, and uh, the the start basically the next step is to put a decal on. Um, this is your little dash cockpit area, and this is the decal. Um, and I just think with have with that having that, I mean, it's not going to be a problem to put the decal on. Um, and I trust I've done Tamiya decals before. Um, but I uh, I don't think there's any any benefit to putting that decal on when all I need to do really is just do a white dry brush so that's exactly what I'm gonna do um, so as this is the first time I've done dry brushing on this video obviously if you've um, watched other videos of mine you'll have seen me do this already um, but what I'm gonna do is get um, get either a nice big brush um, but I use these makeup brushes um, don't laugh um, because I laughed when someone mentioned it to me the first time now these are I think these are eyeshadow brushes um, they're really really soft but the reason they're good is you can get them really really get all the paint out but they're still painting and they just last forever so what I'm going to do is get XF2 and these are really cheap as well I'm, I'm sure I got these from the pound shop but I keep looking in the pound shop and I can't find any so maybe I got them from home bargains or something um, but places like home bargains they're the sort of places that they get them in stock um, and then they may not have them for six months and then all of a sudden they're in stock so what I've done is I've wiped most of that off the kitchen roll just do a bit of a dry brush on the back of your hand you see there's probably a bit too much on there so I'll just wipe a bit more off and then there we go it's only just showing and I think this is going to be a far more effective way of doing it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brush across and it's just going to pick that raised detail up and look you see there was hardly any paint on there so I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys be the judge for the amount of effort I just put into dry brushing what do you think is better the dry brush or the decal I, I don't think there's really anything in it and then what I'm going to also do is I'm going to just pop some uh, it's a little bit of varnish into each of those circles just to make them look like a dial um, of course the only problem with um, with this dry brush is because it's um, because it's practically dry paint you really need to be cleaning your brush with with thinners um, a rinse with water just isn't isn't good isn't going to cut it and it's a case of stop everything 
and clean your brush out look can you see how much paint look that's how much paint that brush actually held and this just goes on forever but um yeah and they're cheap they're really really cheap uh, if you go somewhere like games workshop now if you if you buy from games workshop you are getting a quality product um, but you are also paying the price and I'd like to bet I think you'll probably find that these these three or four brushes that I've got is about the same price as one one uh, one dry brush from uh, uh, games workshop so next step then I need a palette uh, but not a wet palette I'll just use that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a tiny brush smallest brush I've got um, I don't want that it's an oil brush um, what's this one it's another spa I keep finding um, why where's my little brushes gone oh I keep finding my I bought some brushes for oils and I don't really want to use them that'll do that's the brush I'm actually looking for right so gloss varnish uh, any gloss varnish will do it if you haven't got varnish you can also use PVA glue um, but you might want to just water the PVA glue down just a touch um, and don't panic with varnishes because you'll see that they're they're cloudy white and that'll that'll worry you a little bit maybe um, but don't it will clear it will dry clear I absolutely promise you so just a tiny dot into each circle and then when that dries that will go shiny and it will look like there's glass in each each of the dials watch out on these smaller ones as I say you be the judge guys uh, I'm happy with this and like I say at the end of the day that's all that count but would you have put all the extra effort into putting that decal on for probably not much more result there we go so you can see obviously it's it's wet so that's why it's shiny but it will stay shiny but now they look like glass panels but yeah I'm, I'm, I'm happy enough with that result let's uh, let's do another comparison um, and also the extra bonus is that if one day you get for example one of these airfix starter kits that have really really bad detail in the in the cockpit you could always use this maybe cut it up a little bit and just kind of fake some detail um, so it all goes into the spare parts nothing gets wasted just like a good cook I think all the leftovers get used up right okay so I'm gonna carry on doing uh, doing all of this then
so my apologies for the bit of a um, gone off course right at the end um, when I glued the seat on there didn't really seem to be any positive stops for it um, so what I wanted to do was was I wanted to put the nose in so that I knew that it would fit into the nose but of course the nose is attached to the fuselage so it's like quick chip 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 so what I really want to do is just pop that in there until it dries but um, I've got to be honest with you I am really happy with that even down to the little buff coloured cushion so obviously this navigator is going to go down onto the floor when they're when he's bomb aiming um, there's the underneath it needs a lot of panel washing and and um, and bits and bobs but to be honest with you that might be showing quite a lot a lot more than I expected um, the, uh, the, the 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 display that not the display the the instrument panel is perhaps a little bit not as visible well see actually now look it's really not that visible so I, I really stick my by my decision now to uh, not use a decal it looks pretty good um, I do think that looks a mess I'm a little bit disappointed with that for how prominent it is um, the seat because I'm not putting um, a pilot in it's going to show a little bit so I might just fashion something to make that look like a cushion and paint it the same color as that but that'll be fine um, but yeah so I'm really happy with that so I'm gonna stop there at stage um, well I've, I'm, I'm done stage 10 I've lost my mouse now um, stage 11 is partially done we just need to put that J4 and A1 strut in and the A14 at the back um, so you'll see somewhere there you'll see a hole and that's where the A14 bits gonna go and there's gonna be two supports there I'm trying to get this so you can see it with the instructions up um, so we'll do start we'll finish stage 11 off next it next uh, video um, and then we'll do the bombs um, we only need to do half of that because um, uh, the bottom bit is is uh, variant C and I'm doing variant B um, and then the pilot I'm not doing um, I think you can see there if you look at the bottom of the pilot you'll see that that seat cushion is built into the pilot so I think I need to make a new cushion um, but that's not a problem now I could do that with milliput for example but I'll find something um, 14 is putting the pilots in but because I don't have them so I won't put them in and then 15 will be closing everything up and I think we can quite easily get to stage 15 in the next video let's say it'll take as long as it takes um, in fact I might even do 16 as well because that's really simple um, well, we'll see how we get on so uh, yeah I'm really happy with that so I think I will call it a day I mean as obviously at the time of filming I've not edited um, so I this could be a five minute video for all I know probably won't be um, but I'm really really happy with the results um, this is really hard to get in um, you have to sort of click it in but um, as you see it's really really coming along now and I'm really happy that wing is not going in there we go really really happy with how this is coming along it's quite a sizable aircraft it's not little is it um, I thought it was a little wooden wonder um, but it's actually quite a large wooden wonder um, so yeah it's uh, yeah I wouldn't want wouldn't want to come come across that you know um, right so there we go guys so um, I will I will uh, end this video now and uh, we will continue this next week um, let's say happy with the results 
Um, I'll probably get some dry brushing done in the cockpit um, but right now I've just glued all those parts in so we'll we'll leave those until next week okay guys so take care hope you have a lovely week and uh, I hope to catch you next week